Hi, thanks for tuning in to Acoustic Alternatives, the video playlist designed to ease you into your Sunday morning, but good anytime, day or night. I'm John Bomarito. On today's program, music from John Gorka, Sarah Borellis, Alan Doyle, Miles Hunt, Michael Logan, and Birdie, to name a few. Starting it off, a pretty cool story related to an artist you will hear plenty on this week's program. In April of 2004, I had the chance to interview an artist from Australia when I was doing a radio show on WHFR called Acoustic Alternatives. He had just put out his American debut album, It's a Movie. His name was Shane Nicholson, and he was in town opening for Vienna Tang. The next time I saw him was just over five years later, when in June of 2009, he came to the Ark in Ann Arbor with his then-wife, now ex-wife, Casey Chambers. Imagine my surprise when he remembered my name without any prompting. Fast forward to this week, 12 years later. I happened to be skimming Facebook and notice a mention of a new song he was releasing and a new album that was coming out on vinyl. Well, several people had chimed in saying they hoped it was going to be on CD too, so I joined the chorus. Quote, also a CD fan, but one in the USA, so I'm screwed, I think. Shane, who lives in Australia and I haven't seen in 12 years and only interviewed once 17 years ago, answers, Hey John, I'll make sure you get one. Long time no see but I remember you from a promo tour of the U.S. I did sometime around 2004 or so. Was it Detroit? He even came across this picture recently, and then he posts a picture of he and I in the studio together from 2004. Holy crap, I reply. Yes, that's a photo from the college radio station I got my start at before my commercial radio job, the job that I lost last year to the pandemic. I cannot believe you remember me. Amazing memory, Shane. Haven't seen you since the show at the Ark in Ann Arbor. Shane replies, John Bomarito. Well, here's a fun fact. You actually sort of make an appearance in a song I recorded called Irons and Chains from the Hell Breaks Loose album in 2015. The song is largely about my first time in Detroit all those years ago and mentions how you suggested that in the interest of safety, I perhaps not stay in the Super 8 motel I'd booked into. Instead, I shifted to the Hilton that night and ultimately lived to tell the tale. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe I had any impact on him at all, let alone inspired a song. Here's that song Irons and Chains by Shane Nicholson on Acoustic Alternatives. <laughs> 